Okay, so I'm going to do a quick little video. I've got an image here, and you want your image to be converted to bitmap. I've got it in CMYK mode at 900 dpi. I'll make it crisper. We're converting this over to print it. Okay, so I'm going to go up here to effects and put a tone curve on it and brighten it up just a little bit. If it can I have a little bit of dot gain. And let me look at it, move this out the way so I can see it. That looks good. Okay, so I'm going to select this image. Go over here. Opening up Corel Paint now, so it takes it a second because I've got my um, recorder on, so it takes it a minute when I'm running the recorder for, for anything to open up. But once it opens up, we'll uh, open up our CMYK color channels and see what we can do about printing this thing. Okay, so that finally opened up, and here is the image. So it's going to go over here to image. You can split channels, and that'll put each color on a different page, but that's not what we want to do right now. So right now, what we want to do is we can go in, you can look at your different channels by clicking on channel. This will show you your separations and... Um, You can use this dropper tool to see where you're getting a good amount of black at. Off in here, we've got more K, and I'm pretty good with this. It's not muddy or anything like that. Um, check our magenta out. Pretty good with this. I'm pretty happy with this. You see here, you've got barely, you, you don't have anything. So this is going to be basically the white of the t-shirt that I'm going to be using. Okay, so let's go up here. Let's go here to effects, go color transform. And I use 15, 45, 75, 75. It's a 10 radius dot. Okay, okay, now you can see here where all of the, uh, where we're not going to have any ink, those little dots. So let me go in for the purpose of you seeing this, create a background, and show you. So that's how this image will print um, once it's printed. It's color separated, and it's ready to go. Um, let's see here, it's going to be print beautifully, and I will go here to file, and I'm going to go print, so I'm going to print this out through Ghost, Ghost Script, go to independent, independent um, PostScript printer, there's my paper settings, which is fine. Go to my colors. I've got my separations. Okay. Go to separations. I've got CMYK. And I'm going to click on advance here. This is how you know you have a true rip. Okay. True rip software is when you can go in and change these frequencies. Let's go 55 all the way down. You can do this at a 45 on a manual. Um, I wouldn't go any higher than a 55. So 15, change that to 45. And we're going to go 75. 75. If you're wondering where these are coming from, um, this is the if you pull up my halftone cheat sheet, you'll get those uh, dot that uh, the lines, the frequencies, and angles from there. 
we're going to go dot. Some people like to do ellipse. Uh, and this doesn't even give you an option. And uh, I'm working in X8 today. So let's see here. So let's hit OK. So now there we are. And we're going to go print. Once we go into print, it's going to create a file postscript. And we're just going to say this as Alapaha print. And I'm going to save this on my desktop and show you that it's ripped. Hit save. Okay, now let me just minimize all of this. Here it is right here. Click it. I'm going to open it with ghost view so that I can view it. Take a second. Just wait on the file to open. And it'll open up a little bit faster than this on your computer. Like I said, I'm running um, my uh, recording software, so it takes a second to open up. This isn't hard, y'all. It's very easy to do. Um, very, very easy to do. Okay, so we've got this open. There we go. And hopefully I can zoom in and show you what my half tones will look like once they are printed. But let's see. These are the different sets here that are separated. And maybe if I zoom in, let's see if I can zoom in. Um, See those beautiful half tones there? Those are absolutely gorgeous. There we go. Okay. Those are the half tones. Separated beautifully. This is our second color. I didn't put any registration marks on this because I was just showing this to you guys, but So that's how you um, color separate in uh, Corel Draw using Ghost Script, and uh, we did this actually in Photo Paint, a combination of the two. So there we go. That's it. Just kind of zoom back out. It's gonna print wonderfully. It's a beautiful dog. And hopefully, I'll get a chance to print this and show you guys what it looks like. Alright, thanks for watching.